Hey, what's good, guys? It's Austin here. So sorry for not uploading the past few days. I've just been really, really fucking tired and not feeling that good. Um, but I'm back now. Going to be daily uploading. So if you're hyped for that, you know, just, I guess, keep watching the videos if you want. Um, but anyway, today's story time. I'm telling you guys, I think a pretty good story. This takes place about a year and a half ago, okay? A friend of mine was going through some shit at his house, and his parents were threatening to take his keys away. But his car was rightfully his. He paid the insurance. He owned it. He's an adult. So he wondered if he could leave it at my house so that they couldn't take it. And I was like, yeah, man, of course. So he drove his car over to my house, parked it in the front driveway, and then got a ride back home. And I was pretty much babysitting his car for a couple weeks because he was afraid that his parents were going to like take his keys from him or something. So I had his keys and his car. I wasn't driving it because I just couldn't and I didn't want to. And I was just kind of like watching his car, making sure no one fucked with it. His parents couldn't take it then. And uh, everything was going good. Then I had someone over at the time who I thought was my friend, but he came over and long story short, he stole from me. Now I had this friend over about a week after my other friend gave me his car. So after I find out this other dude steals from me, of course I confront him about it on text message because I didn't know he stole from me till after he left. So I texted him, I was like, yo, tell me why you stole one of my laptops from my house. Like I know that's mine. I see it on your story on Snapchat. That's mine. I know the model of it because the MacBook he took, it was a MacBook was a very fucking old model that's worth literally like close to nothing now. It's legit the like the oldest MacBook you could probably buy. I had to buy it used and it barely worked. And it was like the first computer I ever did YouTube on. Um, it's not like a cool MacBook when you think of MacBooks. It's like, it's a fucking old one that literally barely worked. The battery was half dead on it. It was never working. It was probably worth in total like, I don't know, for MacBooks, it was probably worth like 150, 200 bucks. I know that's a lot. But for a MacBook, it isn't. So I didn't think he would steal it. So anyway, I saw that he had it on his story. And I knew it was mine because I had a marking on the front of it. Like I drew something on it. And I saw it. So I was like, okay, that's my fucking computer. So I hit him up on Snapchat about it. He tells me to fucking not worry about it and stop being a bitch. And then he blocks me. I was like, all right, dude, fuck this. So I call up a good friend of mine, a different friend. And I was like, hey, man, come over and pick me up. Take me to this dude's house. I need to get something back that's mine. He's like, all right, you're going to be okay? I'm like, yeah, it's going to be fine. Don't worry. My friend picks me up, drives me over to the other dude's house who stole from me. I knock on the fucking door. And it was about 9.30 at night. I expected the person that stole from me to be home and to answer the door so I can confront him. But he didn't answer the door. His dad did. And he was like, hey, what's up? And I was like, hey, I'm your son's friend. Um, he was just over working on a school project with me. And he accidentally grabbed one of my books on accident. And I really need it for tomorrow's assignment. Can I grab it? And he was like, yeah, for sure. And he let me go up in his room alone without watching me. I don't know how it worked, but it did. And I went into his fucking room and I took my laptop back. And while I was at it, I, uh, I drew a wiener on his TV because I'm an immature little piece of shit. He left a marker on his desk. I had to do it. So I fucking left this house, went back to my house. And the next day I woke up and my friend's car that I was watching had a fucking rock through the windshield. And I was just like, oh, fuck, dude. God damn it. So I called my friend up and I had to explain to him it was probably this dude that stole from me, getting revenge for me going and stealing my laptop back from him and him not being able to pawn it and make money off me. And a rock got thrown through his windshield because the person probably thought that it was my car that he was throwing a rock through the windshield of. And he's just like, oh, fuck, dude. Like, my parents are going to kill me. Like, they're going to freak out. Oh, no. And I was just like, don't worry about it. I got it under control. So I took shit into my own hands. I uh, paid a friend of mine who works at a car shop to replace the windshield and everything ended up being okay in the end. I got the fucking windshield replaced. Now that's pretty much the end of that story in particular. I know you're probably like, come on, man, that's all you let this person steal from you. And then you went and stole it back. And then he threw a rock through your fucking friend's car windshield, trying to get revenge back at you. And you didn't do anything back. Oh, I did. Trust me. But that's for another story time. I know I don't like to leave cliffhangers, but it's going to be for tomorrow's story because it's a longer one, and I want to tell the whole thing in full detail and not leave anything out. So tomorrow's story time is kind of a part two to this story. But I still thought this one was pretty crazy. Like, literally, my friend gave me his car to watch and keep safe, and someone steals from me. I go to get my laptop back. I steal it back. And then he throws a rock through my friend's car windshield, thinking it was my car. And, like, just scary shit, man. I don't know how I didn't wake up to hearing the window shatter, because he did it in the middle of the night. He must have. But... Just crazy shit. Moral of the story is, of this story, just don't let people over your house you don't fully trust, honestly, like, alone. 
But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of today's story time. I am back. Going to be making videos every single day. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. See you guys tomorrow for part two. Leave your stories in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Peace.